Ladies and gentlemen, toasters and toaster ovens, boys and girls, I did that out of order, but welcome back. We're back on the S10. We took some more stuff apart. We put some stuff together. We took more stuff apart. I'm going to try to fill you in. It's sitting in the bay. To be honest, I have no idea what I recorded last. It's I, I've been piecemealing this stuff together here in my free time because uh, life has gotten busy. So, uh, we have the engine actually secured in the vehicle at this point. We have... The steering working. The headers just don't work. So don't let them fool you. These headers don't work for any kind of S10 swap. The only ones that work are the hooker headers that like come up and around. I'm going to have someone custom fab just one exhaust tube for me to just clear that and we'll be good to go. Uh, what else we got? What else? What else? What else? We've undercoated it. We got the oil pan in. I got the oil in the filter. I got the starter in. Um, I have a phone call. Inopportune phone call. Welcome back. How you doing? So. Uh, I said something about a starter, I said some other stuff, I, we got the, the, the current performance wiring is the most beautiful thing. Once the camera's char phone is charged, we, I will come around and show you guys uh, the beautiful wiring harness that these people made. Um, it's fantastic, this is part of it, you can't really see it, but it goes directly into the fuse relay center. Everything's plug and play, it's glorious. And it's actually for an LS swap one, for the, so the uh, you do the LS1 intake, so it's fantastic. I got the right injector plugs, nothing's hodgepodge, it's beautiful. Everything on the, uh, the interior will work correctly, i.e. the TAC, the Speedo. It's set up for manual transmission, so it's perfect. Everything's great. I'm really pumped to do this. We got the radiator. We have the S10 radiator in it. Uh, what we did is we notched, uh, as you saw, uh, I, bl I believe we saw in a previous episode, uh, of me notching that out to sit it back in. It sits beautifully. Uh, I went ahead to the junkyard and I got a radiator fan shroud assembly from, I believe it was the Chrysler 300. Uh, they say you use Dodge Stratus ones. Uh, they work really well. Uh, Chrysler 300's close enough and this was already out of the car so I kind of just looked on the ground and went, ooh, that looks like it'll fit. And sure as my shit is brown, it fit. So. Uh, we got the upper coolant hose in, we got the lower coolant hose, I need to buy a new trunk, it's not really that keen on that, so we'll deal with that. We've got the belt on, uh, we've got the whole accessory drive on, um, power steering's hooked back up, I hope it works, I think it should. Um, fuel lines, custom fuel lines, so again, I'll have to take some beauty shots of fuel lines, uh, we got to tighten those up button those up rather, um, but uh, they are all dash six and lines, um, uh, and anybody who's scared to do it, it's really simple, really super simple, if you have a vise, a rag, and basically a hammer, and some, some basic, you know, all basic hand tools, um, so I have, from the tank, put adapters to the uh, quick releases that the uh, quick connects there that GM has to dash AN. I uh, went ahead and ran all on the line. Uh, so this manifold is a returnless style. So I had to go from a return style to returnless, meaning that I need to actually get a C4 Corvette fuel pressure regulator slash filter. It's a little unit, about 60 bucks. You get that. You go on Amazon, you look for that for a swap, for an LS intake swap. And it gives you everything. It gives you all the connectors you need, the, the and line you need, everything you need to do it. Um, and I put a new fuel pump in it because I may have broke one of the end pieces off. Uh, fuel pump is wired in. Uh, fuel pressure sender is, is new with the, with the uh, pump I got. Uh, that's all back up in there. Uh, the tank is up there. Thank God the thing was almost on empty. That would have sucked. Um, what are we doing? I've got Colton back there right now, um, over there. Uh, he is prepping the fenders to jam them, uh, along with the hood. The hood needs to be jammed, so we got to prep the inside of the hood. He, he knew he, he knew it was coming. Um, I'm gonna jump back underneath there. I'm gonna put the oil filter in. I'm gonna put the oil in. I am then going to double check, make sure we got all the grounds that we need and button up the um, fuel lines and everything. Make sure they're tucked up out of the way. I need to ground the fuel pressure pump filter fucking thing. 
Um, we should be able to, to crank it over and, and have this thing spit and sputter. The exhaust is not finished. And, oh, I have to uh, make sure there's no vacuum leaks on the manifold because there's another bung back there. Um, but yeah, there's not that much stuff to crank it over tonight, so we should be cranking soon. So stay tuned. Sorry for the rambling. It's just we're going to town tonight, so. This might be the one time I'm speechless. Bench test it. This is me we're talking about. Uh, I had one fuel leak. I was able to repair that. I just had to tighten the, uh, the coupling together for the AN adapter to the quick fit button. The computer, the filter, regular combo thing. Number five, combo number five. I'm hungry. Um, we're going to food. We're going to let the fenders and stuff dry. Uh, the fender wells to get all this stuff sitting where it belongs, uh, the battery tray, and then tomorrow, first thing tomorrow morning, I'm going to grab a starter, yeah, exactly, some top post connectors, and a new battery. Shackles, yeah, yeah, we're probably going to put the shackle on tonight before we leave. Um, this, 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 oh my god. 
fucking stack. We just got edge ramen over here. Alright, so we're gonna do that. Like I said, we're gonna do a couple things and things. I may record it, I may not. We'll, we'll see when we come back uh, on our attitude. But uh, we'll slam, slam the pieces back together. I don't think you need to watch them from back So, uh, comment, like, subscribe. Uh, and I hope this fucking thing runs in the morning. See you in the morning. here is the steering shaft work so as you can tell the nose got snug down a bit here uh, we're gonna line up the fenders and shit but this is good enough for now so we go to do body work so we have to slightly modify the exhaust manifold as you can see down there and we had to shim the starter so that it kind of tilts this way and use a cheap grand cherokee or cheap cherokee late 80s early 90s shaft with this double w joint and then we lob it which we lobbed it off and then we cut the factory gm one and use that chunk of it so cut it off because this was too clunky and it's got this stupid fucking crap on it so i don't know what the technical term for that so stupid crap is the technical term he's having he's having cramps what the hell? He just dropped his fucking flung and stabbed me in the side. Oh, that's side. awesome. I flung it and stabbed. That's awesome. Anyway, so we're going to make a little bit more room uh, on the header. I'm hoping uh, we get to go inside the cabin and look and see if we can slightly adjust where the um, steering shaft, that other half, comes out. And see if we can slightly move that that way. And it'll give us a better angle. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? Uh, oh, headers on, all the coils and coil packs and plugs are on, uh, the wires rather, um, except for that back one where we had to unplug it. I've come to the conclusion, that's not a hell of a lot of room for a fucking intake system, bud. Buddy, it's not a lot of room for a, uh, no, for an intake. <laughs> not very much, no. And that's really like set back. So, yeah, we're gonna go over an errand. We're gonna come back. Fuel tank is almost out. Fuel right. tank is almost out. Almost. Almost out. So uh, we had to take a break from that because his back was killing him. So we're gonna go back down on that afterwards. We'll be back. More S10. Keep watching. All right, so we got a lot of the nose together, which is fantastic. I'm going to go ahead and run these coolant lines and stuff tonight and figure this stuff out. Some, I don't know, I, I got I to figure a thing out. Something goes from here to there and from there to, there to here. And then this this thing is factory from the 4.3 and this is the 5.3. I don't know, 4.6, whatever the hell size motors it is. I don't know, I'm exhausted. We're off of food. I'm done. I don't want to do nothing anymore. I'm tired. I've been killing myself for three days straight. Uh, so what I am going to do, though, is I am actually going to go ahead and make um, the AN fittings uh, for this. I'm going to go ahead and take these off, obviously, and, and go ahead and make the AN, you know, get, get these going so I can run it and get it to length to go to the... I need to buy more of those. Because I took them off of this, which needs two more. 
because these are the quick connect fittings. This is the fuel pressure regulator once again, so this will go like so in the vehicle with the feed in return, and then that's the feed to the engine. So I'll be able to run this side, and then this side I will just leave uh, some extra line so that I can go ahead and cut it to size and, and do the AN fitting. So uh, I gotta do that. It's over there. Truck's looking good. There's a lot of a lot of stuffs together here. We even got a fender liner in there. It's a fucking amazing. Radiator is is notched and, and put back together nice. Um, that's sitting there for right now. Just gonna just just doing exactly that. It's just sitting there. I, I don't think it's gonna stay there very long. Um, I need an intake. Problem is I need to buy the tubing, which I don't think is gonna happen before Wolf's cart. So that's going to be interesting to watch. Uh, the belt will be in tomorrow, along with the adapter to make the uh, fuel rail dash AN line, dash six AN line rather. Uh, the steering, steering has been is is the steering is there. Um, it clicks and clunks a little bit off the header. Uh, definitely have to revisit this and, and do 2.0 after Wolfscart. Uh, but for now, this will at least let the vehicle turn, and it just kind of makes some funky noises when you're turning. So it's like a really bad intermediate steering shaft clunk. But it's tight, it's strong, and it turns, so that's good. Power steering's hooked back up. The lines are ran correctly. I just don't have a power steering cooler. I do not have an oil cooler either right now. Again, it's, you know, I'm not going to get ran that, that hard at all. Whoop. Um, and, uh, yeah, so, fuel line, I'm gonna play with, I'm gonna do that, and then, uh, I think we're gonna call it a night. You don't say. Alright. Master Lee would like to tell you. Comment, like, subscribe. Eat Chinese food. Ball Dan Howard on Instagram. Half thought ass talk garage. Love you, bud!